Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back, how good of you to stick around and still enjoy this series. Day 30 it is, we have a permanent temperature drop now to 60 degrees. There it is, this actually leads now to houses being only livable, even on steam level 2, right? So for now it would be fine, um, I'm going to activate some heaters here for my production, for one infirmary and probably then also for my work uh, workhouses there right this will still lead me to have a nice comfortable cold production surplus um even though we are not even using all of the gathering posts at the moment right hot house insulation it is with that i don't even need the heaters for the hot houses activated so let's not do this the increased sick rate that i'm getting out of this we can easily compensate by a very efficient infirmary right so no problem there and I can save up on even more coal um, that we can stockpile for future um, emergencies, that is. Next up, we can actually go crazy on research right now. We have lots and lots of um, resources left over. So gathering post insulation is also something that I would like to go for. Next up on the list, because we simply need them in the future. Also, I'm going to upgrade a few more houses. We have those four houses and then we have all the buildings all the homes in this in the city here upgraded uh, for that let's actually reduce the amount of researchers by one for each only reducing its general efficiency a bit um, and we can have them three engineers that will now build those houses during the daytime just so that I'm safe for the next night we have arrived at the stone arc unfortunately there's nothing here and we can continue onwards now we are close to the hot springs it's, it's tempting of course to unlock them finally we can also go for the buried dreadnought Shipwreck camp, lying rock. Let's go for the rock spires. I'm still searching for more survivors, please. And we also should arrive right away. Uh, we have found another Hulk. They stick around, right? So we can always come to back to them later. There is no... Nothing is lost if I don't go for the Dreadnoughts right now. Frozen lake. Nothing. And wrecked steamer we have out there. It's really far away. Let's go for it. And we also arrive at the next rock. It's really hard this time around to get survivors. So this is always a bit randomly generated, of course, for each playthrough. And it's really hard this time around, honestly. Um, let's actually reassign some people from my steam sawmills to the workshops. We have uh, to the steelworks. We have the hazard here of producing 70% less steel. I should still produce steel though, right? So we still should push the steam steelworks there. Round rock. Nothing has been secured here. Supply train. Go for the supply train. And we're building those houses now. That's super important. Got some gravely ill there. No idea how that comes about. Another worker I can still assign for some coal. I'm really happy with how coal looks right now. And by the way, food. We should also be having, yes, a very comfortable surplus there. Piling it up on the food. Lucky us, they don't spoil really, because they're frozen anyway, we're not used. But that is fine, we don't need to work on refrigerators. Gathering post insulation, that's going to be great stuff, because with that I don't need heating on the gathering post for a while, saving up on more coal. There it is, that was rather quick. And we can go for the next research. Cookhouse insulation, house redesign, infirmary checklists. Um, will heal 15% faster. I think we can actually go for this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for the next infirmary upgrade right away. For some reasons, those houses are still not finished. There is another one now. But we do have 11 homeless now. That's not good. There they are. Perfect. And another sermon to celebrate that. Everybody lives now in comfortable houses. Great indeed. Keeping discontent very low at the moment. Since we have the wood, I would like to prepare my next ore deposit. So at some point we are going to need more steel again, right? In this case here we have the hazard still running for three days. But there will be a time after this. And it's not getting cheaper on the steel. So let's continue with the road. Super expensive. And from here we're going to have then the next... The next iron production then it's fine for now on the steam sawmills right so we have plenty of wood here still left also for this one and then we'll need to relocate them 
Okay, two scouts have arrived once more. Survivors in the supply drain. I did not expect them there. When we approached the slats, people started coming out. They say that they became stuck when their crawler pushed a bit too hard, burst into flames. They have used up all their supplies. They actually survived two blizzard storms in these <laughs> trailers. Um, yeah, no engineers. It's crazy. We have lots of workers and kids there. Let's send them home to the city. Some of them will may die, right? But that's how life goes. And we can continue onwards to the windblown forest. Since there's no engineers, I don't need to keep them super safe. And rock spire, there's nothing. But cave of lights and low heels. Let's go for the lights. Perhaps there is something of interest for us. Really capping it on the wood there again. I might actually, yeah, build me some two more resource depots now for wood. There you go. Meanwhile, we also built those roads now. My poor people. Nathaniel Stoner. Alone in this world. Long hours of toil. Nah, we continue with extended shifts. Racket steamer. Ah, I was hoping for some steam cores here. It's coal and wood only. The hulk of a fishing steamer. It must have been wrecked here years ago. There are no bodies inside and we found no log. And that's the end here. So we can continue onwards. Boo, that's a long way. Probably be better to go for... Yeah, let's go for the children mine, right? It must be the automated coal mine that once belonged to Winterhome and was later found by New London. Let's go for that and see what we can find. At some point, I have to get the settlements. Another 15% bump for the infirmary, leading to 161% now on the efficiency. That's just really great for healing. And... Workhouse insulation. Advanced teachers. Let's go for advanced steelworks. It only costs me some wood. So that we don't deplete all that, that juicy steel that we have so quickly. Okay, day 32. By now we see the next storm approaching and it is going to drop us by four levels. So this is going to be a pretty severe storm. It's the third one that we experience. And for that we'll need to stockpile even more food and I probably will need to go for steam level four until then. We still have a bit of time. Oh, more survivors. Cave of Lights. Armed men move the block to at the entrance. This is our cave, says one of them, looking at us with a pre apprehension. The mistrust vanishes completely when we tell them about our city. And we get engineers! It's 30 of them. And... Let's escort them back home. There's nothing really of super interest for us. We have some resources there anyway, the 90 steel. And lots of survivors are coming in now. So two group of survivors are moving to us. Right. One is going to take four days probably should have escorted them and the other one is actually here in one day already um, and that's going to be lots of people so we will need to have lots of, of stuff ready by then so lots of wood the steel comes with them for the house system and with that we probably yeah probably will need to have another steam hub going then right that's the the next the, ne the next goal then here probably here we can expand into this frozen wasteland because there is also the fighting arena then that we can have perfect looks good Looks good, and with that also the workforce for the gathering posts. I, th I think it's turning a bit for us. 80 degrees now, right? And we're going to experience the first negative 100 with that storm, by the way. So that's going to be pretty severe. Advanced steelworks, there they are. And we probably should go for the automatic prototyping now, right? This is tier 5 then, the last row. And with that, we will be able then to go for the generate upgrade three, which is yeah, which is my goal actually. So let's let's start that. Super expensive, so we are completely down on resources once more. It's going to take us eleven hours in three workshops. So tomorrow we'll have it finished. All right, wood, wind blown forests, many trees, a bit of logs that we can take with us. Another buried dreadnought that I'm not going to need. And this is also the end of the line here for these scouts. So yeah, let's actually send them back home. They have some resources with them. <laughs> not much. It was unfortunately not very successful for them. Um, we could have really escorted the survivors, right? Three days. This might be tough, right? Those survivors hopefully be on time. They better be.
Alright. Day 32 is at an end. I would probably, yeah, still go with Steam Level 2 so we can stockpile more coal. Let's have an evening prayer to make it easier for us a bit. There it is, negative 80 we're looking at now. The hothouses will stop to function now, so let's increase steam level 3 for everyone. This will also lead to chilly temperatures in the houses, which is still then fine. There's the children's mine. And we go inside. It turns out that the mining corridors reaching deep under the permafrost give, uh, permafrost give shelter to dozens of children accompanied by a handful of old and frail people. The mining machines broke long ago. Now the coal is being extracted by kids whose small stature allows them to traverse the tunnels easily. The children are proud that they manage on their own and reject our suggestion to move. They gave us some coal as a gesture of goodwill and are eager to trade more in exchange for improving the living conditions um, and developing the settlement. We do get 300 coal and there is a chance here of building a trade depot that we can use to get coal out of these guys. Let's get the scouts back home. Mm, oh, wait a second. Actually, I think we have enough time. Let's move to the Fisher Rock. Perhaps we find something there. And with that, we have the option now of building a transport depot. Right, for this, we can use these outside slots. But that's something for later. Right now, I don't think that we're going to need this. Let's activate the heater for the hothouses. This is getting a bit expensive now. And yeah, the sawmills are really freezing right now. Uh, nothing I can really do. I could activate the field kitchen, but I don't have enough workforce. So that's that. The gathering posts are though very comfortable. So I don't even need the heater there. So let's not do this. I also don't need... Yeah, yeah I don't need it for the workshop there, really. That's fine, right? So people are very comfortable there. That's okay. We need to really... Yeah, look at that. It's, it's, it's not that clear anymore on the coal side. Ah, uh, very good. Automated prototyping research. That's the last tier. Tier 5 has been researched. With that, we can have another upgrade. Uh, however, it's very expensive. We can boost our scout slats even further by another 100%. Uh, the coal thumpers we can use. Or hothouse selection and house insulation. This is something that we need to actually push. Uh, actually, I'm out of steel. <laughs> yeah, that's the hazard. That's really kicking in now. There's 90 steel coming with the scouts. We could do something else in the meantime. Sawmill upgrade for more wood is probably a safe bet. It's very cheap as well. Let's do this. A quick research so we don't waste my engineer's time. Another sermon, and I would actually probably go for. Ah, no, 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 we don't have the steel for that. I don't build another house of faith right now. Not something I would like to go. 700 food, so this will last us through the storm. The survivors are coming in now, so we can actually start by building those houses now. I can still have those two houses here in the, in the steam hub. Alright, so this is still working. There they are. 54 homeless people we have now. Let's also disband the scout team there. That's a lot. But we have a lot of workforce with that coming in. So this makes it possible now to have the scattering post here also fully staffed. I might actually build a, four, a fifth gathering post here. Could be possible. Also get more wood out of that for the next day. Boy, we're swimming now in sexy workforce. Also disband those scouts. And we have plenty of resources now to also continue um, with the next houses then. Probably another steam hub. There they are. Lots of survivors. That was a really huge wave. And honestly, I think those survivors will die. Yep, I think those 14 workers and 12 kids will die on their journey. I did not expect them to take this long. Why do they need 4 days for this small journey there? It will be too late for them. Most likely they will die. 
Or they come in the middle of the night. Very close to the storm. Either way. Okay, lots of sick. Right, 60 sick we have right now. So my infirmaries are really pushing now. And let's also finish those houses. And on the other end, we'll need then to continue now with the next steam hub. So that's here. And that's the steam hub that we can add then in this area. Trying to overlap not so much that we have enough space. And then I can have some additional houses here. Super expensive, that is. That cold furnace uh, penalty here really hurts us now. It will end today, though. And then we should be ready. Unfortunately, also, those people came in in the night, right? So they have nothing right now and they're freezing. So this might lead to severe illnesses. Fish at rock is nothing. And let's move those scouts back home to the last scout team to return. Okay. I need one more home. One more house. So no one is freezing anymore. Almost. <laughs> Next storm. That's going to be a pretty severe one. Sawmill upgrade. That is nice, of course. Still... There's the saw, uh, the next, also my steelworks. Uh, we are going with the steam steelworks. Right, and we will then be able to also heat that in addition. Yeah, next research I can't do right now. The hazard is gone, so we really push more steel now. That's important. What's going on with my coal, though? Alright. Sir, people are talking openly about overthrowing you. Bereft of hope, they see no future of our city. What? They blame you for that. We are down on the hope there. Did we lose someone? Well. Uh, 15 is actually pretty severe. So now, yeah, I need to go for that next level here in the, in the faith level. And we're going with the temple. The temple is going to be expensive, so I need to have 40 steel for that ready. No more hope left. I'm disappointed in my people. I brought them this far. I still need to build another house, unfortunately. All super expensive right now. Come on, please finish me that steam steel works that we have the workforce, really. But it's such a long way out there that it takes forever. Right, so there they are right now. Yeah, the thing with the hope is a bit problematic, honestly. We'll just see. There it is. Steam still works number two. Unfortunately, will not be able to work today anymore. I can staff it though. Mm, research, there's no reason for that, but we can build a house now. The next one. And we should be able to build that temple. Temple is huge, right? There can only be one in the city, and it is really giving you a super nice boost. So I think we should have it in a good central location. Yeah, somewhere over there. Close to everything. And then I can focus a bit on research again. Those two constructions are just pretty severe. The scouts have returned with more coal. That's great. Actually, these 600 coal we need, right? And we can dispend them. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's because we haven't finished the house. Temple has been built. Hope is raising. And with that, we have the hope restored, right? That was a pretty massive booster thanks to this. And we also get this ceremonial service for 20 food rations. This is another huge bump in reducing discontent and getting the content up. Right, so this is this is super nice. The next house has been finished, so with that everybody should have a home now. Sickness is also going getting better again. And as we can see, we also checked off here the sent the scouts to the children's mind for the settlement. That's another nice bump. Wood is absolutely crazy right now. The steam still works has been finished. Let's actually put it on extended shift. We need the steel come in. 
and I have a lot of workforce ready there, right? So we have lots of stuff for another coal industry that I'm going to need at some point now. Right, it's, it's looking more and more like a city, right? We're getting there. Two steam sail works start today. That's going to be super nice for us. And we're going to see a temperature increase there, at least for this day, to negative 60 now. So it's really warm again. Get out your t-shirts. <laughs> and we thought that, of course, you actually need to open the windows in the houses so that you have uh, acceptable temperatures. And yeah, this is now really nice because we can also reduce the heaters again. Um, have still livable conditions. Also in the hothouses, it's still livable with that. And we can really save up on that coal before that storm hits us, which is, yeah, important actually. Right, because coal is super close right now. We have a break even there right now. We are not stockpiling any more coal. So next tech, um, coal, in, coal thumper injectors probably. The coal thumpers will produce 15% more coal. Um, which allows us to have another gathering post then in range, right? Or we go for that house insulation. Uh, oh yeah, I need to think about that. Four levels, that's a massive drop. We are already at steam level three. Now let's go for either the power upgrade or the insulation. Either one. We need 80 steel and then we need to pump it out, this research. That is going to be such a severe storm. We need to have one of these tags ready. Okay, we have 80 steel. What is it? House insulation or heating? Heating is good for the whole city, but it consumes more coal, of course, that we don't have at the moment. Um, but we only need to have it for two days. So we can keep everything going, right? Yeah, let's go for the generator power upgrade. Super expensive tag. 12 hours, so it will be ready tomorrow. Which is going to be great, because then we have the highest steam level active. Still, it's going to be tough. Um, let's also, if we have enough steel then again, so we are building it up right now, go for another resource depot. Just for the future that we have more coal then as well, piling up. Sir, a priest is here with a group of followers. They are asking you to cut the public house opening hours. They contend that the pleasures it offers poison the minds and the souls. Um, I won't change that. We need... We need that public house, that pleasure house. <laughs> Sermon, perfect. 17 hours for those survivors. They might actually just manage to do it. We do need a bit of steel left over to build them some homes if they arrive. So any kind of steel that I have now, we're going to push them into... into those guys. And we continue onwards with the third and the most severe storm yet in the next episode. Stay tuned. <laughs>